Hey guys, welcome back to another Project Jarvis demo. So this is going to be a quick one. Um, this is more for the guys at Hackaday.io who got redirected here, maybe from one of my project logs or from one of my links or whatever. But this is basically an understanding video of how my fingerprint scanner works and what you'll need to get it up and running. It's a very simple uh, process. Everything is well documented. Well, not really well documented, but um, all the code is available to you. So I'm just going to explain like the main parts and what you'll need to go out and build your own. Obviously, if you just want to see the fingerprint scanner working, you'll have to sit through two or three minutes of explaining first, but you guys can go ahead and just skip if you want. So on the left-hand side, what we have is a 4x3 matrix keypad. So a 4x3 matrix basically means that it has four rows and three columns, and it's laid out in that configuration. So it has wires in that configuration. So that basically means that to control all the buttons in here, you have uh, seven pins, which is what you can see on the bottom right there. So the keypad goes from 0 to 9, and then we obviously have star and hash, which is on the bottom next to the 0. So yeah, that goes straight into the Arduino, um, into some of the digital pins. I think it goes from digital pin 2 to pin 8. I can't really remember. Um, I'll have to check up on it a little bit later. But uh, this is my own homemade Arduino, which is using the Atmega328-PU chip with the bootloader on there. So all I did was I took the chip out of the box, plugged it into this Arduino right here. You guys can see I have no... Um, no IC in there, that's because I took out the IC, just to prove that um, this Arduino isn't doing all the work. In fact, my own Arduino is doing all the work. The only reason why I have this Arduino in frame is because I'm using the power in the ground. I didn't feel like using my uh, bin stop power supply because it's too big. So I'm just using this Arduino for power and uh, yeah, power and ground, that's basically it. So that's my own homemade Arduino. It's very simple to make your own. If you guys want to, you guys can just download my uh, Eagle CAD files and you can send it over to OSH Park or whichever board house you want and they'll make it for you. It's relatively cheap, it's pretty small as well. It's not the same size as this Arduino, I made it as small as possible. Uh, I think it might be, it is smaller than this board, it's definitely smaller than this board. And that's obviously to keep the cost down and stuff like that. So we also have a serial LCD by SparkFun, which is a good LCD. It's not very bright, so uh, on the camera it looks pretty bright because I have the light down. So then we also have a, uh, a fingerprint scanner right here by Adafruit. It's a very easy to use fingerprint scanner. It's one of the easiest fingerprint scanners to use out there. And thank you to John who actually recommended this one to me. So to get this to work, what you basically do is follow the instructions on the hackaday.io uh, website, plug it all in, and then you're good to go. So by default, it's always listening for a fingerprint. So if I just put my fingerprint on here, you guys will see it says, it found the fingerprint ID and it's also turned on pin number 13. Now that's obviously not the final build. I'm gonna change it in the code so that it switches on uh, the alarm and stuff, but you guys can see I've programmed in uh, pretty much all my fingers just because I got bored and I want to see if it does in fact work. Now the one that I didn't program um, is my left middle finger. I think it's my left middle finger. I hope it is. But let's see. So yeah, okay. So you guys can see it didn't say found the uh, ID print. Okay, it did find it. So this one's not coded very well. It's sort of I sort of printed it at an angle. Um, yeah. So this one's not really. Um, head on. If I put it head on, you guys will see that it will not pick up my fingerprints. Okay, so to go into program mode, all you want to do is you want to type in your master password, which in my case is 0907. Press on the star button, then it tells you to type in your ID, then press hash. So I'm going to go ahead and type in ID, uh, and let's go at number 7. And you guys can see it pops up as a star. Press hash, it goes into the programming mode, and I was waiting for a finger. So I'm going to go ahead and place my middle finger on there tells you the image has been taken, to remove your finger after that, place the same finger again, image taken, print stored, and now um, it's successful and it goes back into the listening mode. So if I just put my finger on here again, you guys can see it found the ID print quite easily. So previously um, it was programmed, but it was programmed at an awkward position, so now it's been programmed in um, at a much better orientation at ID number 7, which I think has overridden that... Um, that same ID, I'm not too sure. So be careful, um, make sure to write down which was your last known ID number because it will override it. So anyways guys, thanks for watching.